Hello friends, welcome back to our Classroom YouTube channel. Today is Wednesday, May 13th, 2020. The season is spring. Turn and tell someone that you're sitting with what the weather is like today. So to start off this video, we're going to do our numbers and our shapes, and then we are going to do a art project we are going to be making octopus today okay one two three four five six seven eight Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Now let's do our shapes. Rectangle, circle, square, oops, hexagon, triangle. Oval, heart, and star. Good job. All right. So for our activity today, you are going to need something to color with, whether it's paint, markers, crayons, whatever you have. You're going to need a toilet paper roll or a paper towel roll, an empty one, okay? Um, and then you're going to need some scissors. And if you really want to be fancy, you can get some glue and glitter and sequins and stuff like that. But you do not have to. And if you have some googly eyes, which I do not, but if you do, then feel free to use that as well. All right, let's get into it. So I've gone ahead and colored my toilet paper roll off camera and it looks like this <clears throat> and it's still kind of damp so I'm going to be careful but the next step is to take your googly eyes if you have them I do not so I'm going to take <clears throat> a marker and draw my eyeballs this craft is so easy guys so I'm going to draw two eyes on like that and a little mouth okay so my octopus is happy Now that that is done, you're going to take your scissors. Really, the majority of this craft is coloring and decorating your, um, your toilet paper roll, which, like I said, I painted mine, which I thought was a little better than using crayons or markers, but use what you have. Next step is to take your scissors, and we're going to make lines. We're going to make slits in our toilet paper roll about halfway up. You don't want to go more than halfway up because we don't want to cut into the head of our octopus, okay? So I'm going to do that now. Remember, only halfway up. And you can make them as wide or as skinny as you want. But remember, octopus have how many legs? If you said eight, then you are correct. But this is just art, so you don't have to be exact. I 
I'm not even counting. All right. Now that you have your cuts, you're going to gently lift up your legs of your octopus. And he's going to be able to sit all by himself. Like that. All right, so like I said, if you're feeling a little fancy, you can get some glue and you can get some glitter, which I happen to have, and just decorate your, um, your octopus a little bit more. So I'm going to do maybe some dots on the legs, every other leg. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's start with that for now. And make sure you lay some type of paper down to catch your glitter so you don't make a big mess. And I'm just going to uh -oh. it's not open. Whoops. All right. So now my my octopus has a little uh a little style to him. All right. And that is it, guys. Let me hold it up for you guys. This is what my octopus looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you give this a try because it's so easy. And that's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. And until Friday's video, so long, farewell to you, my friends. Goodbye for now until we meet again. Bye, guys.